Over these last 10 years, I've done a lot of different things. It's like a lot of life happened. All of that life made it into this, into these songs. When I first started recording, I had in mind a very sparse folk album that was going to be um, completely stripped down and kind of bare bones. Then I got in the studio, I recorded the scratch tracks, listened back. I was hearing all these ambient textures and I followed the song. So I followed them in a direction, each one of them, in a different direction than when I first, than I first thought it would go. In a lot of ways, this album feels like the culmination of all the places that I've been musically, including the electronic trip hop CDs I did with Keith Schreiner, working and writing with Dirty, my Dirty Martini bandmates, McKinley and Lara Michelle, playing drums with the band that we became called Swan Sovereign, my roots in, in folk and pop, and the more orchestral kind of music. I did a live album at the Old Church with the String Section choir. And there's pieces of all of that in this album. This was my very first time self-producing a studio album. I was just constantly like a tiger in a cage, back and forth and back and forth, listening and thinking and making sure I, I was trusting my ears. I did a ton of rewrites, a ton of rearranging, right up until the 11th hour. That was the first time I refined my songs this much. So I'm proud of that. I think I wanted to create something really intimate, but also lush. A lot of times intimacy comes when it's like quiet and, and inward. And I wanted the intimacy to be bigger than that. <laughs> I think that this album is is my favorite album I've made so this this far. We got caught in your crossfire.